Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. <clears throat> it's a rainy, stormy day, and I needed to make a quick and easy treat for a gift today. So what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, welcome to Cat's Cooking Kitchen. If you've never been here before, I'm glad that you joined us. This will be quick, easy, and anybody can do it. Even if you can't cook a lick, this is so easy. It's a dump and go. Okay, we're going to start out. We are going to make a butter pecan cake mix cookie. So what we start with is a half cup of oil. Okay, that's easy enough, right? Just measure out a half cup of oil. Two eggs. One, two. Okay. That's that. Now we're going to blend these up together until they're well mixed. Means I have to get my handy dandy mixer going. You can use a hand mixer as well. Not everybody has a KitchenAid. And trust me, I saved up a long time for me to get this. But I've had it for years and years now. And if you wait long enough, you'll find them on sale. Sometimes for almost half price. So that's what I did. Okay, now, I don't think we can see very well. Better get rid of that. Uh, I'm really bad about remembering to put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. This is what it looks like when it's all mixed together, okay? And now we're going to add our pecan cake mix, if I can get it open. I should have had it open before I started. I try to do that stuff ahead so that videos are quick, quicker. Okay, I'm going to put this... Back down, I'm gonna put it on very low, as low as it can go, and I'm just gonna slowly dump. And this is uh, Betty Crocker, and it's super moist butter pecan cake mix. And if you look, it doesn't have to be the same, it doesn't have to be Betty Crocker, it can be any cake mix. It can be a store brand. And it doesn't really even need to be butter pecan. That's what the recipe calls for. But I've also made it with a spice cake. And that is really yummy too. So, and it would be really yummy with the chocolate, yellow. It wouldn't matter. I just can't imagine. Okay, now we're going to step it up just a little. And you see it's pulling away from the sides. Kind of a dough. But we're not done yet. So we have to add our butterscotch bits. And it costs for 11 and a half, but I think that's, yeah, it's 11 ounce bag. So it doesn't, the other half an ounce isn't going to make a difference. And I'll turn that on low again. Okay. Let those mix up in there a little bit. Let those butterscotch get, bits get in there. And then you're going to take a, a eight ounce bag of Heath bits. And you can use either the plain heat bits, like I have today, or you can use the chocolate covered ones. Okay. And that's that. But, since I'm not using the chocolate ones... I think I'll throw a handful of 
mini the buzzer was our ovens preheated <clears throat> I've got a bunch of mini uh, semi-sweet morsels that I need to use up so I think I'm just gonna throw in oh uh, let me measure it for you so you don't have to guess I'm going to measure out a cup, but I may not use that much. Let's start with a half a cup and see how it goes. This is half a cup of chocolate mix. And let's go just a little bit more. We'll just go ahead and put a cup in. That might be a little too much. But we're going to do it that way. Live and learn. That's my motto. Okay, we have the oven preheated <clears throat> to 350 degrees. It says to roll them up the dough into balls, which is fine, except I like them to be the same. So if you don't have an ice cream scoop like I do, a little handy dandy one. I have three sizes. This is my medium one. Uh, then you can just roll them up by hand. We've got, I hope I'm not sorry I put that many chocolate chips in there. Ugh. I can't imagine it's going to be that big a deal. Oh, look at all that that's not mixed in. Well, I still have some chips in the bottom that isn't mixed up, but as you can see, we have plenty, plenty of chips in there. And now I have a 10 by 13 or 10 by, or maybe it's 15 by 17. It's 10 by 15 or a similar half sheet pan. Uh, and I'm just going to dip up. Cookies like this. Okay, until I get the pan full. And then we're going to bake them for about, hmm, I'd say 10 to 12 minutes. I'd check them at 10. Everybody's oven is different. Mine tends to run a little hot, so I always check it on the earlier side of the recipe. As soon as I get the rest of these dipped up and baked, we'll be back and we'll show you what these look like and give it a taste test, okay? Hang in there, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you can tell over here, we have some cookies ready. I'll show you the tray. I got 15 on my sheet tray. I've got another 15 cooling over here. And I've got, I might have 8 to 10 more cookies to dip up. So you're going to get at least 3 dozen, depending on the size you roll your balls into. So let's give it a taste test, shall we? what it looks like a little brown on the bottom solid on the top mmm it's very good I love the butterscotch in it a little bite of chocolate and Heath bar you should try it really really easy like I said, you blend together half a cup of oil to two eggs. Once you have that thoroughly blended, you add in your cake mix. Use any flavor you want. This, I used butter pecan cake mix. You can use spice, you can use chocolate. I don't think I'd use like lemon or strawberry, one of those flavors. Not with butterscotch bits in them. But you can use any of those. And then... 
<clears throat> you add um, a bag of butterscotch chips, the 11 ounce bag. Then you add in an eight ounce bag of Heath bits and chocolate. Mine didn't have chocolate, so I added a cup of mini chocolate chips because I had some. And that was way plenty. I think I'd cut it back, maybe only half a cup, maybe a little over half a cup, but I don't think I'd do the full cup anymore. It's, some of them are pretty heavy in chips. This one isn't. They taste fantastic, and they're so easy to do. So I would recommend these to anybody, beginners, anybody. Check it out. I mean, there are a million cake mix recipes out there, and I've made a few. You can go on uh, YouTube or Facebook and look for Cat's Cooking Kitchen and check out my videos and I'm sure I have a cake mix cookie recipe from when I started a year ago. So there you go for a quick and easy Saturday treat. It's raining. You can't get out and do anything. I needed a gift so these are going to be given away. Thank goodness I don't need them and they are really good and I know my husband wouldn't leave them alone if we kept them in the house. So Go out and make the best day you can. It's raining. We're going to go eat pizza. So, <laughs> or maybe wings. I might eat wings because that's better for me than the pizza. But uh, we go to the patio in Roanoke. Highly recommend the place. It's one of our favorite places to go. We go every Saturday if possible. And we just enjoy it there. It's a fun place to sit and meet people and talk to people you've already met or take friends with you. So, <clears throat> in my personal opinion, it is well worth going to Roanoke, Indiana and checking out the patio. Okay, that's our plans for today. A uh, little housework later when I get home, but this is it. So, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, with any new ideas or something you'd like to see me make. And for those of you who are waiting on my cinnamon roll cake, I am doing it. But it won't be until next Saturday on the, I guess it's the 30th. July 30th, I'll be putting out a video of my uh, cinnamon roll cake. Uh, those of you that watch me regularly know that I had a mishap with my uh, notebook here and it quit filming halfway through and then I had a whole cake that we had to get rid of. So it's taken me a while to get back to the cinnamon roll cake, but I am going to do it. So be on the lookout for that. Again, thank you so much for watching Cat's Cooking Kitchen. Y'all have a great day.